Hello, my name is Jeff Franklin, and today I'd like to show you how to install Walnut Studio Lowe's leather braided handlebar wraps. For each pair, I hand cut hides into four long straps, skive the edges, and dye and gloss the surface for waterproofing and a long life. With your braided wraps, you'll receive a small roll of double-sided tape and a little packet with installation instructions. You'll also need a spray bottle or bowl of water and electrical tape or twine for tying the ends. The first step in installing the wraps is to clean your handlebars. For new handlebars, mount the brake hoods and tape down the cable housing. Make sure your handlebars are positioned comfortably, because once your wraps are on, you won't be able to remove your bars without removing the handlebar wrap. Gently wet the leather until soft and pliable by spraying it or running it under water. Towel off excess water. Ideally, you want it to be damp and soft. If you leave the leather soaking in water, it may get too stretchy. Adhere the double-sided tape to the bars. Start with a ring of tape at the beginning and end and three inch strips along the convex curves of the bars. Leave the wax paper backing on them until you get to them during the braiding. To start braiding, take two of the straps and cross them at the top of the bars, leaving three to four inches of slack to come back and tie off later. Angle them around the bars such that each will wind back towards itself without leaving a gap between the leather coils. Wind one clockwise and one counterclockwise, crossing over to make the braids. Pull gently on the first two braids, which should lock down the straps. The first braid is the hardest. It's okay to start it, undo it, and start it again until you get comfortable. But once you get going, it will be smooth sailing. Focus your attention on the outside of the curves. The diamond pattern will be most clearly visible on the convex curves of the bars, so pay special attention when you get to those curves not to leave any gaps. The pattern will be less clear with more overlap on the concave curves of the bars. Peel off the wax paper backing of the double-sided tape as you get to each new piece of tape and continue to braid down the bar towards the end. Roll up the rubber brake hood and wrap the straps around it. When the rubber brake hood is rolled back down, it should cover the gap between the metal and the leather. When you get to the end of the bar, have a small strip of electrical tape handy. I like to cut the 3 quarter inch tape in half. Wrap the small strip around the end of the bars and cut the leather flush with the end of the bar. Now go back with a full strip of electrical tape and wrap it twice around the end. Now go back to the top of the bar and do the same thing, finishing it off in the same way. Repeat the process on the other side and you're all set. Your hands will flatten the leather braids with use over time. Or you can use this little trick to speed things up. Grab a tool with a wooden handle, like a hammer, and wet the braided on wraps down completely. Polish or brush it with the wooden handle by rubbing the handle against the braids with a brisk back and forth motion all along the bars. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. We'd love to see pictures of your braided wrap installs. Find us online at Facebook and Twitter and walnutstudiolo.com.